And a YouTube uh, pipe smokers, brethren, sisters, and smoking aficionados. This is Bill coming at you again. It's 1120 on Tuesday. I'm still procrastinating. I had this great idea to do a Who Would You Smoke With from History episode. And I did a bit of reading and a little bit of research and found some very comprehensive lists of people who smoked pipes throughout history and two people intrigued me enough to bother to bring it to your attention of who I would enjoy a pipe with. These two individuals are incredibly famous. They share a profession. They are both dead. Um, one is from England and one is from the States. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? Um, I think if I said any more, that would just give it away outright. Uh, the first person is, um, let me see. Oh, yes, it is a famous writer. He ended up in Cuba. He fished a lot. He uh, drank a lot. He suffered from depression late in his life. Um, I believe he spent most of his late years in Havana. Um, and if you still haven't figured it out by now, I'm about to tell you. The first person from history that I would smoke a pipe with, if I had the opportunity is Ernest Hemingway. Um, according to my research, he smoked a pipe. I knew he smoked cigars, which I also enjoy, but I was unaware that he smoked a pipe. And I've read a lot of Hemingway's short stories and novels for class and uh, on my own volition because I think he's a fantastic writer. Um, and I like his style, and I like his topics and what he addresses. Um, I just think he'd be a really cool guy to sit down and smoke for an afternoon with. Um, I think he'd be a real character, and the things and stories he could tell from his time in the war, and I mean, yeah, I think it would be incredible. Um, the second, uh, person, the number one person I would want to smoke a pipe with is, let me pull up his bio real quick, ah, uh, yes, here it is, um, let me scroll down to the proper paragraph, um, let's see, where is the part on, Oh, here it is. Um, da, 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 da. The second person, the number one person in all of history I would smoke a pipe with would have to be J.R.R. Tolkien, the author of the Lord of the Rings series, who created one of the most famous opening lines in history, which is, in a hole in the ground that lived the hobbit. And after that, his literary career took off. Um, he served in World War I. Um, let's see. There are accounts that uh, Tolkien smoked a navy flake um, because there were some old tins in his home that were used for other things that were navy flake. Um, and a little bit about Tolkien's pipes. Um, it says here that they were usually smaller English billiards, which was common for his time. Um, and there is evidence, uh, according to this article, that Alfred Dunhill sold um, tobacco blends that Tolkien would have smoked, and he had, and Dunhill was making low cost campaign pipes and tobacco uh, to sell to soldiers that were headed to the front and to the war. Now, 
I am a huge Lord of the Ring fan. I really enjoyed the movies. I read all three books and assorted appendices in three weeks last summer. Um, I think it is fascinating. You could read those books back to back to back and still find something new about the characters and the plot. Um, fantastic literary contribution to, you know, modern literature. Um, I think he would have some incredible stories, too. Um, and I don't really think that um, he's like the first person people think of when you say pipe smoker. J.R.R. Tolkien is not the first person um, someone would think of. So those are the two people in history that I would love to sit down and smoke a pipe with. Ernest Hemingway would be my second choice, and J.R.R. Tolkien, the author of Lord of the Rings, would be my first choice. Um, leave a comment, make a video response. I would love to see who you guys would love to smoke with uh, if you have the opportunity. Cheers.